In this video I want to explain how two computers in the same subnet communicate with each other. As you see in this diagram we have three computers A, B and C are connected through a number of twisted pair cables to a hub and the hub is connected to a router and the router is the interface between the local subnet and the internet that is shown as a cloud. Now computer A uh, sends a signal to the wire and the hub will send the signal to all of the computers. If computer A wants to send a message to computer C then it must compose what is called a frame and in that frame it must put the uh, network address, the physical address of the computer A, physical address of computer C that is sometimes called uh, MAC address. Computer A of course knows the MAC address of uh, its own LAN card and will find out what is the MAC address of computer C, will compose the frame, will send it to the hub and hub will send it to all of the computers and the router but only computer C will find that the the physical address uh, belongs to computer C and then we'll pick the frame and look at the payload. The payload of the frame most of the time these days is an IP packet and if computer A wants to send an IP message to computer C then it needs to know what is the IP address of destination and what is its own IP address. So we have to program these computers with an IP address and we do so. We assign 197.168.110 to computer A, 11 to computer B and 12 to computer C. So when computer A wants to compose the IP packet will think okay I know the IP address of my own computer and then I know the IP address of destination so I will compose the packet but then computer A thinks is the destination is in the in the local subnet or the destination is in a remote subnet and it matters for computer A because if the destination IP address is for a computer that is in the local subnet then computer A will simply put it in a frame and will send it to all of the computers in the subnet if the destination is a computer in a remote subnet then computer A must send the packet to the router and let the router to send it to other subnets and uh, until the packet is reaching uh, um, to the destination network and is given to the, um, the target computer. So it is important for computer A to make sure uh, that the destination is in the local uh, network or not and you may look at the IP address and you say oh 197 is a class C address and obviously the destination is also in class C but computers don't look at things they need more decisive way of determining if the destination is in the local network or not so, and we teach them uh, by assigning something that is called the subnet mask subnet mask is a set of zeros and ones that tells the computer if um, which part of the IP address assigned to them is their network address and which part is their host address. Computer A looking at the subnet mask assigned to it will know that the, because there are 255, 255, 255 the first three octets of the subnet mask will know that the first three numbers in its IP address are the network ID and the last one which is corresponding to zero is its host ID. Then computer A looks at the destination address 197.168.1 and look at uh, the first three octets of the destination IP address compares it with the subnet mask and realizes that oh the destination address and the source address of its own IP are in the same subnet and computer A in this case will know that okay this is a local communication 
I will simply put, uh, I will compose an IP packet, I will put it in a frame and will send it to this local network and the destination computer will get it. The other scenario would be, of course, if the destination uh, network address would be something like 1971682, then when computer A compares 1981682212 with the mask, we would realize that the destination network ID is different than its own network ID and in that case it would send the frame containing the IP packet to the router and then the router uh, will take care of it.